Now to a frightening scam. Prosecutors filed child pornography charges against a local high school student. Investigators say some of the victims were his own classmates. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O is at Monsignor Bonner High School right now with more details. Anita. Good evening, Yuki. This probable cause affidavit mentions five victims, but authorities say more charges are likely as these documents outline disturbing allegations against a high school senior who reportedly catfished more than 130 local high school students by creating a fake online persona and then using that to blackmail high school students into sending explicit content. Everybody was talking about it in school and like very shocked because I didn't expect this from him. After growing up with 18 year old Derek Jones, neighbor Brianna Lane is shocked by the felony charges announced by Delaware County District Attorney Jack Whalen on Thursday, which include possession of child pornography, harassment, and stalking. Derek Jones was pretending that he was Haley. Authorities say using stolen photos of a real teenager, the now suspended Monsignor Bonner High School senior posed as Haley for years in order to send and receive nude photos and videos from male students in the area. Well, his intent, uh, we believe, is for sexual gratification. We tried to speak with Jones' family at their home, but no one came to the door. Meantime, Whalen says Jones also blackmailed students into sending more images by threatening to publicize the ones already in his possession. He doesn't stop there. Investigators also found a hard drive at Jones' home with 136 separate folders organized alphabetically by the name of each male student depicted, in addition to a 137th folder titled Forgotten Names. In that particular file is a whole host of other teenage boys that are labeled and have been identified as child pornography. Whalen urges parents to have serious discussions with their children and to monitor their use of social media. Do not send these type of pictures to anybody out there. Now, in a statement to Eyewitness News, a spokesman for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia called the charges deeply disturbing and added, quote, the Archdiocesan commitment to the prevention of child abuse is an ongoing one. We will continue to do all that we can to assist our young people in utilizing technology in a manner that will minimize their exposure to dangerous situations. Now, a judge set $50,000 bail for Jones, of which he needs to post 10 percent. His family is reportedly working to arrange that. Meantime, Willen says legislators need to work on creating laws that protect people whose images are used in this manner. For now, live in Delaware County, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Anita, thank you.